what's going on guys, Rony Boney here, to be sure to be sure, bringing you another commentary, and as you see, Halo 3 is the gameplay footage today, and why is it Halo 3? Well, because I have stopped playing Halo 4, I don't want to play Halo 4 anymore, I was good at Halo 4, I was really good at Halo 4, I, I really was, it's the game that I really thought, oh, I'm really good at this game, wow, you know, I was never this good at Halo 3, but, you know, I I've gone back to Halo 3, why would you go back to Halo 3, why would you go back to a game that you're not as good at? Well, because I'm sick of dealing with BS. The only BS I really deal with in this game is the bubble shield, the regen, and the power drain. Like, just think about it. There's The equipment is the only thing that I really have a gripe with in this game. Seriously. The equipment and also I think that the BR, because it was an 07 release title, you know, I, I think that the BR could have used some tuning. Um, if you're off host, you're fucked with the BR. But whatever. Whatever. It's, it's, it's all whatever. I usually get a European host when I play during the day. So my channel is going to switch from Halo 4 to Halo 3 gameplay if I'm putting up a Halo gameplay. That's the way it's going to be. I want to this is what I want to do. I want to get into a good upload rota. And I am using this week. This is a week that I'm off. I'm using this week to really plan out because I'm quite an organized person. I'd write things down, you know, just to get to get my plans in writing really helps me. It really helps me organize my my thoughts into paper so I can actually see them in front of me as opposed to just thinking them. Uh, I've written down like this little rota, which I think would actually be good. Uh, what I want to do is, I want three to four videos a week. All right, three to four videos. I want to put up a Halo video, a tech commentary. I want to put up a Call of Duty video. You might think, whoa, hold the phone, Call of Duty. I'm going to be getting Call of Duty ghosts. I've decided after after my video, some people were saying, oh, I'm going to get Battlefield. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get that. But then other people private messaged me and said, why would you get something that you know you can't play competitively? And holy shit were they right. You know, Battlefield is a fun game. I will still get it on PC, I think. I really will. It's only going to be like 30 quid for me. And I've got a job. So, you know, I can afford, you know, I get paid every week. So, uh, and it's, it's a good like 150 euros. So I can... You know, I can afford it. I can afford I can afford to get both. Even if even this coming week, I can afford to get both. I'm not going to get both, though. I'm not. I'm not going to get Battlefield on Friday. But uh, hopefully next Tuesday, I will get the Call of Duty game. Because Call of Duty titles... You know, everyone, everyone knows. Everyone knows what to expect from them. I know what to expect from them. And you know what? I don't expect much from this. I expect to buy this game, check out what dedicated servers are like on console. And if it's amazing, I'm going to stick with the game. At least expect for the first couple of months me to put out some content for you, you know, some tutorial contents. Because I think a lot of you guys that were playing Halo 4 are switching back to other games. You know, you're either switching back to this game, because the, the population on this is exploding. Like, at, at you know, very off-peak hours, there's a good, like, six or so thousand people on this game. Six thousand people! That's, that's brilliant. I sh Look at this, I shouldn't have swapped my mauler out, I would have gotten this guy here, look at this. Prowling wolf around the corner. Oh my god. All right, so Oh my god, you see it there. There he goes. There he goes and killing me guys I don't think that Halo 4 is a good game and you guys have seen my commentary on I think that Halo 4 killed Halo and I got a lot of shit in that commentary from people Got a lot of shit people saying that you know, I'm an asshole who's resistant to change I'm a stubborn individual who knows nothing. This is coming from people that can barely play the game competitively as well I'm just gonna call them out on it. You call me out. I am sure as fuck calling you out as well If you think that Halo 4 is a great game, you know, and it shows so much promise You know, you can't I can't bank on promises you know, you can't bank yourself off on promises. You can't say, well, I'm going to get Halo 5 because, you know, the promise from 343. That's that's not a good reason. It really isn't a good reason. Just really think about it. Is that a good reason? If you didn't enjoy Reach, if you didn't enjoy Halo 4, which most people didn't, and especially the competitive community, they didn't enjoy Halo 4, and they especially didn't enjoy Reach, and that was on the MLG circuit for two fucking years. For two years it was on the circuit, and they didn't enjoy it. Guys, just think about it. Just think really, really hard and clearly about it. If you don't enjoy a game, why would you bank on the next game being better? Why would you put hope in the next game saying, oh, well, they'll, they'll learn from their mistakes? Their mistakes shouldn't have even been made. They, they had people, they had consultants from the competitive community telling them, put ranks in the game. Have social and ranked playlists. You know? 
Like, have have playlists without armor abilities. You know, have just regular speed. Have have the have the regular way that we play Halo. And it took them months to even implement playlists. Like nearly an entire year to implement about nine months or so. Not in a not a year. They took ages though. That's the point. They took ages to even implement changes that should have been made. You know, within the first two weeks or something, or even should have been shipped with the fucking game. You know, and then they start charging us. Like, the pit in Halo 3 is an amazing map. It's my favourite map in Halo 3. But the way they have it in Halo 4, Pitfall, I, it's not a good map. It's just not a good map. I was excited to see it come back. But just jetpacks and armour abilities and everything, and sprinting, especially, sprinting ruins it. I, I didn't believe that sprint was a bad thing until they brought back a Halo 3 map, and I saw what it would have been like. Imagine sprinting in this game. It w it ruins the entire competitive aspect of this game, being able to sprint away. The fact of the matter is, Halo is not Call of Duty, and they tried to turn it into Call of Duty. I've, you know, I've no problems with Call of Duty's formula. It works for them, but that's for them, okay? That's a different game. You can't copy something from another game and put it into Halo, which Halo, okay, I've always seen it like this. Call of Duty is like checkers, you know, you can jump across the board, you know, you can jump across the board and kill, like, you know, take several pieces at one time by hopping, because it's so easy, if you have good reaction times, you can kill people so easily. That's what Call of Duty is. Halo is like a game of chess, okay? You have to pick your pieces, you have to move when you know it's right to move, okay? You really do, okay? It's it's a completely different game. They are so, so starkly different, guys, that the fact that 343 kind of... Look at this move here. I tried to... I baited him up towards me because I knew I had rockets and I knew he was going to follow me. So I said, look, I'll fire my BR and maybe he'll try and challenge me. And he did. But you can't copy it. You really... You can't copy it. You know, a game of chess will never be a game of che uh, get, be, never be a game of checkers. They're played on the same board. You know, first-person shooters, same board. Look at this analogy. This is going so far. <laughs> they play. They're played on the same board, but they're not the same game, and they never will be. So you need. You need. You really just need to stick with your formula, because there is people that like that formula, and you have an audience for that formula. You know. After Call of Duty took off, Halo was never going to be as big as Call of Duty after 2010 and after Reach really showed that it wasn't a good game. It was never going to be as big. But the fact of the matter here, guys, is you can't try and piggyback off Call of Duty. And so many games are. You need to stick with your formula and just try and improve it. And even if you gave us the same experience as Halo 3 and Halo 4, more people would have played it. More people would have played it. And that's a fact. If you had brought out a game without sprint, if you had brought a game with in-game ranks, if you had brought a game with, you know, d good developer support, 343 tried, but they, they really they really fucked up at the very end. That's the only way I could say it. If you brought in a classic Halo game, which 343 even said themselves, they almost had a classic Halo game, but they decided to go with, you know, Promethean Vision, all the armor abilities and all this crap, ordnance that they added into the game. You know, they pretty much gave us kill streaks in the form of weapons. You know, people are copying Call of Duty too much, and that's the sad fact of the matter that Halo is dying because of that. It's dying because of that, and I'm not going to be going out, rushing out, to get an Xbox One to get Halo 5. I won't. I won't, because, you know, I, you know, you can't just keep going back to the same shit and saying, well, I hope it's going to be better this time. And when it's not, saying, oh, well, hopefully the next one will be better. better. Hopefully the next one will be better. You know what, Halo 4, they shouldn't even make a Halo 5, in my opinion. They should make the storyline, and if they make the multiplayer the same way they made Halo 4, they should say, ah, forget it, lads, you know? I should have thrown a nade here at this guy, I would have gotten him, but whatever. Uh, guys, it, it's, it's a sad fact, but I'll be putting up Halo 3 content if I'm putting up Halo content. I'm going to be playing Halo 3 quite a bit. I'm going to be playing COD Ghosts quite a bit, and then I'm going to be putting up a random gameplay over a tech commentary. I think that's my niche there. I am a three-pronged YouTuber, okay? My tech videos do very well. They really do. My my tech videos do really well. The commentary topics where I have, you know, really big names, really, you know, you know, eye-catching names, like Halo 4 killed Halo. That's a pretty eye-catching name. That video's on about 200 views now at the, at the time of me recording this. 
You know, that's that's kind of lowish for me. But then some of my other tech commentaries would just randomly take off and get about like a thousand or so views. And that's where I get a lot of my viewing audience. That's where a lot of you guys that are, you know, watching this commentary right here came from. And a lot of you came from Halo. So look, I'm not a person that will forget their roots. I won't. I, 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 I won't forget where my subscribers came from, where the real people that have been with me since the, since the very start, since I had less than 50 subs. You know, you guys, you guys have been here with me. You know, I'm nearly at 400 now. Like that's that's a huge and like around the exact same time last year, I had less than 50, and I'm nearly at 400. Like in in my eyes, like people would say, oh, that's slow for YouTube. That in my eyes, Jesus Christ, that's a couple hundred percent difference of of subscribers gained. Like that's huge. If I can keep this up, dudes, like within a couple of years, I'll be you know around 10,000 subs. You know, if I can keep it up, and like look. I hope that I can get to that stage. I hope that you guys stick around to that stage. And in order to help you guys stick around, I want to put up Halo 3 content. I think, just even look at this commentary. Or even this gameplay, I mean. Like, I even feel that this is a lot more, you know, exciting to watch than Halo fucking 4 is. You know, like, not not seeing me, like, romp a dump on people, but me just playing, you know, extremely, like, this, this is me trying to, oh, there's my phone. Uh, me trying to... Me trying to, you know, get my... Me trying to get my 50 in Team Slayer again. This is uh, the game that I won back my 47. You know, I'm pushing towards my 50. And, you know, if if I'm on a 49, I'm going to start recording every single one of those games so that you guys can see a 50 game. You know, even the next time I play with my friend John or whatever, or the next time I'm in a really, 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 really good Team Slayer game, I'm going to put it up. You know, I'm going to put it up for you guys, because it's, it's more exciting than me putting up a Halo 4 commentary saying, oh, this is what I did here, and this is what you guys should do. Because Halo 4 is not an exciting game to watch. It's it's not a spectator game. It's been proven that it's it's really not. That rocket guy fucking killed me there, dipshit. Alright, guys, so just look forward to this on my channel. Tech commentaries, Halo 3 gameplay, or a Halo gameplay. It could be Reach if I'm just feeling in the whole like social Halo mood. Play Invasion because I love Invasion. Invasion's a great game type. They should have should have brought it back in Halo 4. It would have kept a lot of more people along. Um, and then uh, then a COD gameplay. And don't give out to me for playing COD because you know what? I actually tend to enjoy it and play it competitively. Okay, guys, love you all. Thanks for watching the commentary. Bye bye.